Hey guys, Max Selfie Queen here, and welcome, finally, back to Pokemon Victory Fire. Please, oh please, let this work. This is the, not first, not second, but third time I have tried to record this episode of Victory Fire. So, if I'm a little not happy, you know why, because this is the third time I've been over the same stuff over and over again, and this episode is like 25 minutes long, so it's great that I have to keep talking over and over and over again. So, in the last episode, which was a long, long time ago for me, probably like five, six, seven, eight months, I don't know, long time, you know what happened? We're done. We're not going there anymore. Anyway, we got ourselves a six batch. Not our seventh, but we are almost done with this game, apparently, because seven and eight, and then we should be done being able to take on the Elite Four and finally finish another game, which I'm super excited about. So we will be focusing on this game as of right now. Um, it's great that I get to focus on one game at a time. I thought I was going to go, gonna have to go back and forth between um, Dark Rising and Snakewood and this one, which is kind of what I wanted to do, but then I realized we're so far, or we're so close to completing this one, why not just go ahead and do this one too? So I'm going to be focusing on Victory Fire for the next however long it takes to finish this one and then we'll kick back into some Snake One and Dark Rising. So in this episode we are going to take on some familiar faces um, that I didn't recognize first until I got into things but uh, we are going to continue on with the team that we have now which we are looking okay in levels but not really, and you will see why in this episode we are not prepared to continue any further, which is why after I finish this episode, once again, I am going to be going ahead and grinding up all the Pokemon to higher levels, because as you are going to see, this is going to be a pretty tough uh, episode for me. Also, I'm trying really hard to get through it without losing my voice completely, because, well, as you know, or you don't know, who knows, uh, I said in an episode of White 2 that it would probably be the last one that I record, and I wanted to get all of them done because I was getting sick, which turns out I was, and I did, and I still am sick, but when I recorded this episode, I was really sick, and I shouldn't even have recorded it at all, I, I really shouldn't, I should not have recorded this episode when I did because my nose was runny, and I felt nasty and disgusting. I felt like I had snot everywhere, of course, which is what happens when you get a cold. You literally are nasty. And I shouldn't have recorded it because every two seconds I was making a very uh, weird and nasty noise that I know a lot of people probably didn't want to hear. So it's a good thing that I decided against uploading it. So I decided I'll go ahead and do post-commentary, which isn't like me to do. I, I don't usually like to do that. I like to commentate while I'm playing the game and doing so and so. But unfortunately, I would rather you guys listen to me like this than the way that I was last time. When I originally recorded the video, which was like this. Every two seconds. I could not breathe, and it was making me angry. Ugh. And one of my least favorite things that I do not like at all is not being able to breathe out my nose. So I was determined to breathe out my nose, and I still am. I can breathe through it a little bit, but not as well as I should be. Because I'm still coughing and everything else. This is the part of the, the sickness where you cough a lot, and I'm waking up throughout the night coughing with these spells and it's really annoying and I'm really tired of it but that's just what's gonna happen I I take a long time to get over colds I don't know why that's why I hate getting sick and of course my boyfriend knows this but he just has to go and get sick knowing I'm gonna get it yay Ugh. But anyway enough of that enough complaining uh, we do have a familiar face who will be popping up here in just a minute I didn't realize at first, but apparently we've ran into this guy a lot, and we've had a lot of trouble with him at times, and we still are going to have a lot of trouble with him, considering 
you guys see how the levels are. These guys are like level 54, 55, and we're only just now getting to level 50. It's really, really aggravating to me. That was one thing that I didn't like about this game was the level gaps, aside from the grammar, which is another thing I don't like, the level gaps really annoyed me. But, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it besides train up my Pokemon, which is what I'm planning to do right now, and what I will do after this episode. Hopefully everyone will be up to probably level 54, because that seems like the lowest they are around here. They kind of go up from there, but if I can keep them at around 54 to 55 range, we should be okay, I think. I'm guessing the Elite Four is going to be like level 65s or 70s. I have no idea. Hopefully that won't even be a problem. But here we are with a familiar voice saying, wait a minute, how unexpected. You are quicker than me again. And here is where I realized that this is Max, the guy that we've had a lot of trouble with before trying to defeat in the past. He is back once again to give us his dumb grammar and all that crap that this game is known for, but that's great. All right, well, if you know anything more about Team Rush, please tell me. You are free now. Um, how about having a battle? And of course, we jump right into a battle with Max. And I was like, okay, we're ready for this. That's okay. We're doing fine. We just beat the uh, gym. We did okay there. And here we go with the level 55. Electrode leading off. Great. <laughs> Another reason that I wasn't ready for this. But um, luckily for us, we're not doing a Nuzlocke of this game. Because if we were, I would have already lost by now, considering it was me just blindly going through the game. And that's what I wanted to do. I like playing hack games so that I can go through um, at my own pace and kind of get to feel the story myself and whether I like it or I don't like it. Um, I'm more a fan of those because I've played every Pokemon game pretty much that there is, besides for some of the spin-off games. I'm not a big fan of those, but... I've played a lot of the Pokemon games, and I've played them multiple times, so I know they're how they are, and I know what they are used to and everything else, and I like the hacks because they stray away from that a little bit. Some of them kind of go in a different direction, which I like. I like different stories that I haven't read 50 times before. I like different um, outcomes for things, different regions, different versions of things, because we never got to experience that. Once these games came out the first time, they went on to the next generation and they didn't make anything else with them. This is kind of what I get to do. I get to play these games, which are like spin-offs of the original versions of like Emerald or Ruby, Sapphire, Fire Red, Leaf Green, whatever you want to play. Um, these are spin-off versions of them to me and I like it. It's something different. Because I am a nostalgic fan who does like the older versions of the games. Now I'm not saying I hate the new versions, I actually love the new 3D graphics and everything else that the games have brought too well to the fans because we never thought we would ever get to see Pokemon that look like this become 3D and move around on the screen and it was just amazing for something like that to happen. So I'm happy about it. And I am okay with playing these hacks blindly but some of them I have seen before I have watched some people play through Snakewood so I do know um, kind of what's gonna happen there but it's been a while since I've watched people play through Snakewood so I will probably be just as confused as anyone else whenever I come to those parts of the game and I've never watched anyone play Dark Rising or Victory Fire I kind of like to stick to um, my few YouTubers that I watch, and I don't like to stray away very much. As you know, I am very OCD, and I do like to do things a certain way. So you can imagine how awkward it is for me to have to record this for the third time, considering I wanted to do it the first time, but stupidly enough, I decided to go my own path and record sick like I always do. But anyway, enough of that. We've got a little bit off track here. We are still facing Max, who has led with his, well not led, but I think this is his last Pokemon, his level 56 Benetric, who luckily we hit a hypnosis on was, and am able to put asleep after he's pretty much demolished half of our team already. Um, the one Pokemon that I wanted to train up, Gabite, of course we're not going to get to train up once again. 
I don't actually know when he evolves. Um, I think it's around level 50 or something, 54, 55, hopefully is what I'm hoping for. Because I think that if we can get him leveled up and stuff, then be all good and he won't be as bad. Wow, your strength is still as reliable as before. That's great. Just be cautious. Team Mirage have gotten more tough than before. And your friend Uranium should be more careful as well. What? You know Uranium? Well, of course. Hey, I told you before, I'm a police officer. I know everything. Well, fine, but you don't know anything about Team Mirage. Well, as you know, Team Mirage is an evil organization. So if we did know everything there is to know about them, then we'd be able to stop them. So you're not a person who knows everything. Oh, you are correct. Okay, fine. I will change my slogan right away. Wise decision. Anyway, can I leave now? Well, of course. Sorry I've wasted so much of your time. Yes, goodbye, Max. Unexpected. But now we have to go all the way back to, I believe, Mugwort Villa is what it's called. Yes, Mugwort Villa, because we have to heal up our defeated team. Which gives me even more reason to grind off screen, but that will be happening later on, and I will have to just do that myself. So, obviously, you can see uh, Spirit Team and Sceptile are our highest member teams, our highest team members right now. Um, I want to get Gibbite up, and that was my plan in this episode, but unfortunately, I didn't get to do that like I wanted to. But we are on our way to Half Leaf City, I believe, is where we are going to venture off to next. So, we will be finding a lot, a lot, a lot of trainers on the way there, and uh, we will be having a little bit more story involvement to kind of cut through a lot of the, the um, trainer battles, because this episode was pretty much a lot about trainer bot battles, and less about story, but I'm glad it worked out the way it did, because we did end up getting a few parts of story here and there, as well as some trainer battles, so it kind of worked out for the best. And look, it's like, it's like I record the video and I get sick right in the middle of it because the one reason why I wanted to record this now is because I thought, you know what, I'm getting better. I'm totally getting better. There's no way that I'm going to be making all those noises like I made the first time that I recorded this. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be able to get through it and record it and not lose my voice or cough or sniffle or anything like that. So, I just kind of eat my own words or whatever you want to call it because I've been doing it a few times. I've noticed it. Don't think I haven't noticed it, but I have sniffled a couple times when I've tried not to. Ooh, and look at that. Another interruption, which makes me have to stop recording. It just wouldn't be one of my episodes if I didn't have an interruption. Woohoo! Well, I guess it was for the best that I did get interrupted because, well, I had to cough had to uh, blow my nose, and had to clear my throat, which were three things that I probably needed to do anyway. But I always get interrupted, and I'm used to the interruptions by now, so what you gonna do? I don't even rem remember what I was talking about beforehand anyway, so I think it's a good thing. We can just start over and get back to the episode, where we are taking on more and more trainers, who are obviously higher level than I am, and I can't seem to catch a break at all. And I'm guessing it's mostly my own fault because when I was coming back, going back through this um, video, I noticed a bunch of times where I probably shouldn't have had certain Pokemon out that I did have out anyway, and that could have caused them to die, or I just did something stupid, like I did with Bite whenever it was po uh, poisoned. And I went ahead and stayed in with it anyway. I mean. I, that could have been avoided if I would have switched out, and he could have got the experience, or she. I don't remember if it's a girl or a male. Uh, goodbye. But anyway, that could have been avoided, and it would have got experience if I would have just switched out. But I was just kind of doing this episode pretty much just to say I had an episode of Victory of Fire recorded, because I wasn't really sure what was going to happen next. Um, I didn't know story-wise what was going to happen next or anything, or rather this... This was just going to be like a episode full of Pokemon trainers and Pokemon battles and all that stuff. 
I didn't know because, as you know, I'm playing through it blind, so I, I just kind of went through it and went through the motions. And as you will see, we are actually pretty okay on uh, what we're doing now, though, because we are almost to the point where we're going to run to some more story, which is going to help us kind of understand more about what's going on. And there, another reason right there that I could have saved Gabite because why would I stay out on a water type when I'm part ground type? I'll never know. But hey, Magmortar got to level 50 for it and is going to learn Skull Bash. I decided to go ahead and teach it Skull Bash and get rid of Smog because Smog is only 20% power. And really, I already have someone who could poison in Arbok if I needed a poison, I believe. He has a move that poisons people. And if he doesn't, he probably will learn one, I believe. I'm, I'm not too sure. But I know that he um, he would be our poison type person anyway. And Smog just... It would be another move I wouldn't use anyway. More than likely, I would use Skull Bash first. So, anyway, here we are. We have another character who we are running into, Alvaro. Who said he's learning something new about me and that we are actually chosen by Victini. Yes, I think Mr. N must have told you this before. But I met him several days ago and he told me this. He said that you might be the person who can stop this coming disaster of the Tyran region. I, I can't believe my ears. Me? Really? Well, yes, you. And please, battle me. I'd like to see if you've become stronger than before, young hero. So, of course, it would not be a greeting, I guess, unless we did a Pokemon battle. And once I saw his um, sprite in in the uh, battle thingy, Majig, anyway, once I saw that, I pretty much remembered, kind of, we battled this guy before, I believe. He was some samurai guy, um, and I think he had some pretty strong Pokemon then, too. But he has some pretty strong ones now, as well. Leading off with a level 57 Sviper, so that puts me in a great position to train up even more because he, all of his Pokemon are level 57 or lower or higher, and we are pretty much level 50. So we're like 7 or 8 levels below this guy, which is terrible. Um, but I didn't see it coming because whenever we had fought the gym leader, I don't remember exactly, but I don't think we had that much trouble because uh, we had Mike Mortar and I believe she was a fire type gym, or ice type gym, so we didn't have much trouble. I think she had a Milotic though, so that was the one thing that gave me the trouble, but we also had Sceptile to counter that and then it's, it was just, it didn't seem too hard and the level seemed okay for us. But then we come up here to the next route, and we're talking about level 57s, 55s, 58 wheezing right now. We're nowhere near where we need to be. Who knows what level the next gym would be. It could probably be like level 60, and the next gym after that could be like level 70, and the Elite Four could be level 80. Who knows? I'm guessing the levels are completely just messed up. <laughs> in this game and that was another reason why a lot of people don't want to play it but I've come this far to end the episodes and stop recording Victory Fire now so might as well go ahead and finish it because I believe it is finished so we might as well go ahead and finish the game now I've come this far I mean Arbok is level 59 obviously you know we're under leveled but I wouldn't have guessed that from just the last episode to this one even though I didn't remember what we did in the last episode because I, like I did say, it's been a while since I recorded any episodes of Victory Fire, Dark Rising, or Snakewood, or any game for that matter because of everything that had went on and it was just time for me to get back into things. So I'm trying to remember, you know, all the Pokemon we had on our teams and get back into things, which is taking me a lot longer to do now that I've become sick. So hopefully now we can get through these things and I can get over the sickness and we can move on. But we did defeat Alvaro. Well, you are quite the trainer, aren't you? If you're interested in reaching the top of this place, then let's go together. If you're really really the chosen one, the guard there will help you or whatever. I don't know. I stopped paying attention because the grammar was so terrible. <laughs> 
Anyway, we have no choice. We are forced to go up here. All of me and my dead Pokemon have to go up here and poison to Pokemon. No matter what, because we can't leave. So, unfortunately, if we get into a battle situation, we can't do anything about it. But anyway, we're not luckily going to be in that situation. This is the Guard of Rainbow. Um, what? Where is she? Here. What? A rock? Are you fooling me? Seriously, I'm not. I am not a rock, you nosy kid. You're pure, aren't you? Well, yes. Yeah, I am. Who are you? I am the god of Rainbow Rock, just as you know. I can answer your question. Really, then, you want to know whether you're the chosen trainer of Victini, right? I didn't even ask you. Don't forget that I do know everything. Let me tell you, you are the chosen trainer, but... But what? You are the chosen trainer, but you need to prove yourself for Victini. Prove myself for Victini. How do I do it? Hello? Are you still there? She's gone. She's gone? Why? She didn't even tell me how to protect my, prove myself to Victini. I think she wants you to get the answer for yourself. By myself? Yes. If you really are the chosen trainer, then you'll be able to get the answers. But, sorry, nobody can tell you anymore. Your future is in your own hands. I'll leave for now, but I'll be keeping my eyes on you. Alright, so that was pretty much it for this episode. We pretty much just leave the cave and I end the episode off here by telling you guys in the next episode that our team is going to be way, way stronger and I am going to go back to the Pokemon Center and I'm going to heal up the Pokemon because we're looking pretty messed up right now and of course we do need to bite to get levels anyway. So, <clears throat> I am going to end the episode off here. That way I don't lose my voice completely, and in the next episode, we'll continue on from where we left off. So I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Victory Fire. Post-commentary will not be included in the next episode, more than likely. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next episode.